Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be doing some Thomcraft research and learning how to do this, plus making these awesome goggles of revealing. All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to we're going to do a lot of uh, research stuff. So we're going to be digging into some Thomcraft research. It's like the the meat and potatoes to Thomcraft. I mean, it is what makes Thomcraft Thomcraft. So um, I've done a lot of scanning. All you got to do is go around and you can scan all almost everything in in the world uh, can be scanned um, given some mods some mobs mods don't have scan support like a lot of blood magic stuff cannot be scanned um, but like these things right here if I were to scan them it would say I wouldn't have um, access to them and as you can see it says I have gained permanent warp you see that on the right hand side that's because I, j I just done some research um, so if we take a look in our book here um, I've already done these two steps of research. I don't really need to do this research, but this one right here gives you warp. Um, it says mostly harmless, so it doesn't give you that much warp. Um, but warp is some negative stuff, so you can have like blindness. Like you get blindness all of a sudden. You can get brightness all of a sudden, and it just makes everything super bright. There's a whole bunch of cool effects that you can get um, while you have warp. Um, but there's also some really bad ones that you can get as well, um, like blurriness is one that I really don't like and confusion and all that craziness but yeah warp gives you that um, I'm trying to avoid warp but I really need this one because I do make a lot of mistakes when I'm doing research so um, having this here helps out a lot um, and also we're gonna work on the destruction table that's what we're, we're fixing to do right now we're gonna work on the deconstruction table and we're gonna get that uh, done so Getting the research, there's a helpful tab right here, Aspects of Magic, that helps you a lot with your research. So as you can see, it tells you pretty much what every aspect is. As you can see, all of these uh, items carry this aspect, and vice versa. So if you ever want to find that later on, which you'll definitely need to know that later on, um, you can use it there. So these all tell you which items um, use what. And also, whenever you hover over an item, and you hold Shift, while it's in your inventory, it'll do it. Wow, I have not scanned dirt. I am now. So there we go. I'm so happy that list on the right hand side has finally disappeared after all of the scanning. I mean, I've been doing it for quite a while. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. So I'm working towards the deconstruction table. Now this is a really nifty item, but as you can see, until you research it, you can't read about it. Um, and, and you can't read about this for a good reason. You need to research it first and prove that you have done that task and then you can figure out what this thing is plus make it. So you can't even see the recipe until you're ready to go. I don't know if the deconstruction table is expensive or not. I don't know if this even shows the recipe. It does. Okay. So it requires a divine axe and a divine pickaxe and a bunch of tables and another uh, thermometer, which requires a soul runic plate, which isn't hard for us to make anymore since they're pretty much already set up over here, ready to go. Um, just have to put all the catalysts and stuff in there. Okay, we're probably gonna make one today, definitely. Um, but doing the research, this is what a lot of people struggle with, and even I struggle with this, because um, it takes a lot of memorization. Like, you need to eventually learn which, like, what these do to each other. So, um, Cognito here has um, some primal aspects into it, but sometimes these two don't have any of the same primal aspects or use the same primal aspects. So we need to look at Cognito and Fabrico and, and try and find those two in here. So Cognito, where are you at? Um, I'm missing, passing it up. Um, well, Humanus uses Cognito. There's Cognito. Um, so it uses Ignis and Spiritus. Well, that's not... That's not something that we're going to need. So let's look at um, Fabrico, which is right across from it. So we can see Fabrico doesn't use any of these these aspects, and this one doesn't use any of them. So we can't really link those. But we did see Humanus here, and Cognito has something to do with Humanus. As you see, Cognito is a is an aspect that's used in Humanus. So we see this is used in Humanus as well. So we can look, and we could probably use Humanus on both sides, since they both use it. And then we can figure out, okay, what does Humanus use, use for? Okay, so Humanus is used for 
uh, Lucrum. So if if everything goes smoothly, I know it's kind of confusing. It sounds confusing, but um, Cognito right here is used for Humanus, as you see right here, and Humanus is used for Fabri um, Fabrico, and then. Humanus is used for Lucrum. So we should be able to link the Humanuses together with Lucrum. So we'll try that. Let's try that. Let's do Humanus here and Humanus here. As you can see, those two link. Now we need to find something that ties these two together, which would be Lucrum. And so now these are all hooked together. Now we need to find something that hooks uh, Fabrico with Perdito. So, um, let's start looking at that. So, uh, let's find Perdito. Where's it at? Uh, so Perdito is a primal aspect. So most likely we're not going to start with this one. So if it's a primal aspect, don't worry about it. Start with Fabrico and see what we can get from there. So let's find Fabrico right here. And as we know that it uses Humanus and Industrium. So, uh, We'll look at uh, Humanus first, and as you see, Humanus uses um, Cognito and uh, and that one, so that's not going to be one. We need one that um, uses a primal aspect, so Industrium. So Industrium uses a primal aspect, so that's what we're looking for here. We're looking for a primal aspect in one of these, and uh, this one does. So if one of them doesn't have a primal aspect and one uh, does have a primal aspect, or if one is a primal aspect and one is not a primal aspect and they're about three spaces away, you can usually figure this out um, pretty easy. So here's the uh, Ordo. So what we're going to need is we're going to need Industrium and then we're going to need Ordo. Okay, that's going to be hooked to Fabrico. And now we need to figure out what Ordo um, is used in to make Perdito. So we need to find the, something in there that uses Ordo and uh, Perdito. So we see Perdito here, but we don't see Ordo. Okay, Ordo and Perdito makes um, permutation, or per permutatio, if I'm pronouncing that right. So these two. So we're going to need this one in between Ordo and this right here. So let's see if we can figure this out. Um, that's the simplest way for me to describe it. I, I, I can't really describe it very well, I mean, other than that. So we needed this one here, and then remember we needed the, uh, the primal aspect that this one uses, which is Ordo. You can find Ordo right here. All right, and then the these two make up um, an aspect, which is the permutation. Permutatio. Not put it in here. Put it. Drag it over here. There we go, and we've completed the table. Okay, so I mean that's as simple as I can make it. It does get a lot more complicated when you're doing four spaces. That's why this last one that I did um, right here. This one does require uh, four spaces for each aspect, which, I mean, you you need to know how to do your aspect before you can really do these, but um, there is a useful tool. I think it's called the Research Helper, and uh, you can usually figure out uh, how to do how to use that tool online if you need help with your research. But um, once you learn how these things go, you can pretty much memorize them um, if you've done them enough. I think I've done this like played through Thomcraft like five or six times now and I've completed like tons of research all the way up into um, like Golomancy and past and Thomic tinkering and all that good stuff so a lot of research ahead um, and we're gonna need all that but I definitely recommend getting these done first before you start researching because this one if you mess up it's gonna reduce the chance of you losing an aspect so if you chew if you guess the wrong aspect over here and you drag it over here say I have humanist and I drag it over here um, and it's wrong it's going to remove this aspect, and I will no longer have this anymore. Um, and then this one, the research experience, it says you have become more uh, efficient at performing research. Um, this one reduces by 50. You also are able to see which aspects you can combine to create. So that one allows you to uh, see what you can combine. The top one, so as you can see, it shows right here at the bottom what two aspects make up humanus. Now I can also shift click and automatically do it. So I can automatically add to that. How cool is that? 
that's due to this one, the research mastery. So I recommend doing those. Um, otherwise, it's going to become really difficult for you to, to do this later on. Uh, but you can make more of these manually um, if you don't want to do that. So as you can see, this one requires... Uh, where is it at? Requires Bestia. And you put those down here. And Cognito. Wherever that at, is at, right here. And then as you can see, this one's going to go up one. Bam. So you can do it that way as well. And uh, But I like having this research so you can just shift click and automatically do it. Makes life a lot easier. Um, this one I don't recommend unless you're on a server because this is uh, research sharing um, and you can duplicate your research and give it to a friend. Um, and then they don't have to do all the research. So it's pretty, pretty nice to be able to do that. Um, but all that is said and done. Uh, right here is the flux that we were talking about earlier. You can read about all this in your book. Um, but a lot of this research I'm going to be doing off camera because I've done it so many times and Honestly, doing it on camera is not that interesting. Um, and especially since you have to do it over and over and over again for everything. Um, for like this, click to get research, click to get research right here. All these have to be researched and then they branch off even further after you've researched them. So yeah, tons of research ahead of me. But uh, we're going to go ahead and make the thing that we just researched, which is the deconstruction table. Um, this requires 40... Um, Perdito. I don't know if I can even make that yet. No, this only holds... Um, I think this only holds 25. Yeah, it only holds 25. So we can't even make this yet. The construction table requires 40 Perdito. And I don't have that much yet. So, can't be done. Can't do that yet. And plus, I don't know these divine stones. What does this come from? Oh. Oh, this is from that boss. Um, it comes from the the horn, or the call, the watcher, whichever one you want to do. Okay, so yeah, I don't have any of those yet, I don't think. I might have some. But it looks like if you kill a lot of bosses, which you could probably do inside of a spawner, the MFR spawner over here or something like that. Um, but yeah, we, we need to get some more stuff done with Thomcraft. Um, we could probably start with some alchemy. Uh, let's research Nitor. And we'll also research um, this. I don't know. Um, Nitor. Uh, yeah, you can't see how Nitor is made until you see it in the book. Um, so we have to research it. So that's what I just did. I just had the research. You have to have paper and scribing tools in here to do that. Okay. So here we go. Let's see if we can do this one. So this requires this and... Uh, Perdita or Igneous and uh, Lux. So we'll see if we can figure this out. So we have Igneous. Igneous right here. It's a primal aspect, so we need to start with Lux. So Lux. As you can see, Lux uses air and Igneous. So air. What does air use that also uses Igneous? Is there anything? If not, we might have to stretch it out to four instead of three. So does, I'm looking for igneous and air. So it may we may just do lux air lux air. I think that might work. Lux air lux air. Just like that. That not work. And then Lux again. Bam. And that completes it. And now we have the ability to look up Nitor. Okay. And that's under Alchemy. So Nitor. So we see right here it requires these aspects inside here plus a catalyst, which is glowstone. Um, and each one of these aspects are obtained by certain materials. So I think this is coal and a torch, something like that. Um, there is a recipe that makes this, like, even. And we're going to be able to get some Nitor here soon. Um, but first we need to make the basic alchemy. So, that is a cauldron with your wand. So, we can work on that. So, we need a cauldron. And we have our wand. 
And honestly, I'll put it right here because we do have water right behind it. And I think we can pump water into it, if I'm not mistaken. And let's get our wand. Bam, it's changed. Now eventually I'll move all this over into this building, but for right now, I'm doing it right here because we need some basic research. I want to get the main thing built over here before I move everything in. Um, that makes it just it's a lot easier, so I can just have my ME terminal right here for things we need. I think I can hook this up. Let's uh, let's see. Get my Yetta wrenches in here. Can't I? I probably need a fluid conduit. And we'll hook up the pressurized fluid conduit. And we'll connect it like this. Bam. Ah, yes, it does fill it up. So, we also need some kind of flame source under here. Um, be it a torch. I think a torch works. Oh, actually, no, a torch doesn't work. It needs to be fire. So, we need netherrack. And flint and steel. Do I not have flint and steel? I should have some. I don't know why I didn't have any. Whoa. Okay, let's actually scan our crucible so we can get those aspects out of there. And what else can we do? Go ahead and put this netherrack under here. Break this cobblestone. You know what? Having the water right here is going to make this an issue. Hmm. Okay. I'll fix it, though. What we'll do, we'll take this. I should make that a water source. We'll place this here. And then place our machine on the other side. We have so many buckets now. Yeah, that's an infinite water source. Okay. And then we can put the aqueous accumulator. It doesn't matter what direction we place. I'm going to place it like this. And that should still be working. Yes, it is. Perfect. Now I can light this on fire and not have any issues. So we'll place our netherrack down here. like so and we'll light it on fire there we go now this should start to bubble and hopefully nothing catches on fire it's exactly what I don't want to happen is fire to happen and okay, we'll pick up our items and bam and as you can see it's bubbling if we stand here by the way we'll start taking damage so I might need to turn off my step assist and bam. Now let's just hope our tree doesn't catch on fire or anything like that. I'm trying to figure out why this hole is here. I don't remember that hole being there. Okay, so we should be able to make some items. So if we look at what makes up um, Nitor, you see we need, ig we need Igneous, Lux, and Potentia. And I think Coal has Potentia and two uh, Igneous and then we need Torches and those have one Igneous and we also need Glowstone so let's do that okay so if we look at the way this recipe is set up we should be able to get this going so um, Coal is two, two, and two. And I think, if I put this back down, I need to check it again. It requires three, three, and three. So we can do, we can double that up and do six because, um, since this is in increments of two. Oh, oh, there's some warp effects. Remember I said we already have some warp? That's one of the effects of warp. Uh, 
That's the only unfortunate thing. So we can double this up. That makes six. So two coal equals six. So we're going to need six torches. And so two coal and uh, six torches and then one glowstone as our catalyst. And that should equal everything. So we dump those in. And put that in. And we get ourselves one night tour. And that's exactly how that works. So, um... If we had our goggles on, we could see the aspects inside. Right now, we see that this is what the aspects... Uh, well, can't actually see. We need the goggles to be able to see what aspects are in here. Because right now, all we see is the crucible itself. Um, but if there were aspects in here, I think we could... We should be able to see them. So, let me show you an example, because we actually need to scan some taint. Um, we're going to actually generate some taint. Oh, there's some right there. So as you can see, there was some leftover stuff in there. And that's where the taint is coming from. You can usually block it off and, and get rid of it. There you go. And now this is filled back up with water. So pretty nice there. Um, you can remove the water. I think you shift right click with the uh, iron wand. And it gets rid of all the aspects. All the, all the extra stuff. And it should go. Um, so what I, the reason why we're getting that stuff is because when I put the two coal in here, when I put the two coal, I actually needed to put more uh, glowstone. So I could have made two since we did double up the recipe. So that's the reason why I'm getting um, this extra stuff. So we'll do this again. So two coal and two and six torches. But this time, I'll actually use two glowstone dust because um, the recipe is actually making two. So like I said, if you mess up, you'll get flux. You can get all kinds of craziness coming out of here. Um, usually it spills out into the floor or, if, or gas that floats up to the top. All that kind of stuff. I recommend having a roof for sure. So let's do this again. And... It looks like it didn't go as fast. As you can see in the top, it shows you what we need. And that didn't work. So let's go ahead and avoid all that out because we did it too fast. And as you can see, we get some taint. This isn't a very potent recipe, so um, putting a lot of stuff in here is not going to be that big of a deal. But yeah, as you can see, it, it can affect things. So we can do one, two. And we'll need to watch it because they do start to deteriorate. So, that's four. One at a time. Okay, it looks like our thing is not working correctly. Maybe the recipe isn't the same? Ah, there's the gas. By the way. And like I said, just use a block to fix it. Yeah, it doesn't look like our recipe is working correctly. Like it's different. Um, so we're going to need glowstone. And we'll try this one more time. This time I'll throw all of the items in as fast as I can. So, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's two. Two of those equal four. Oh, we need three. Uh, here I am doing it the whole time, doing it wrong. That's why we keep getting messed up. It keeps messing up for us. Now if I throw these in. Now we get two. Okay. And there's nothing left over. Okay. So yeah. These are pretty easy to make. Um, and they can also be used as light. And now I can break this. Break that. Put back the way it was. And just put one night tour under here. And bam. Now we have... Uh, Flame source that's under here that's not going to cause us issues. So, looky there. Now it's bubbling up. Um, okay, so there's another research that we can do. This one is used like a kind of like a bomb. So this is some dangerous stuff here. But we will need it later on. Um, we could research that, or we can research glass vial. Or malic tallow, or tallow, magic tallow, if I can pronounce it right. Um, and then this stuff. But uh, there was some other stuff I wanted to scan, and I want to kind of show you guys that here in a minute. Okay, so here is the other area that we need to scan some stuff at. So this is a tainted biome, and it's part of Thomcraft. 
and it does cause some weird stuff to grow and uh, it's some pretty nasty stuff. It causes some nasty mobs and all that good stuff as well. Uh, but there are a few things that I would like to scan. I think I should be able to scan them um, that I wasn't able to scan before. Like these things. So we just unlocked a new thing. Um, I think, yeah, you've discovered new research, new clue to research. So this stuff is definitely stuff that we need to scan. Um, there was some other stuff. We can find some goo, some tainted goo. That'd be nice. Um, I don't think, is there a spawner under here? There is. I wonder if that gives us a tainted spider. Okay, so the taint, we've already scanned this stuff. The spider's not spawning. I'll take it anyways. Alright, so we've done all that. Oh, is this taint over here? No, this is oil, I think. Sludge. So yeah, we're gaining a few things, but I'm really looking for some tainted goo. I'm not finding any. Yeah, this stuff spreads. This is stuff you don't want to hang around for very long. Oh, here's a, here's something to look at. What is this? That's some dark sand. Um, this right here, this uh, totem that's spawning. And inside there is a sinister. Pretty cool. If I break this, um, I actually need to scan what this gives me when I break it. So, yeah, we need all these. Um, let me get my bag. We'll drop some stuff in here. That way we can pick up what's down here. Ow. So I'm already taking damage. Oh, I think I have flux flu. Okay. So we've got that. And the ethereal essence. That's some stuff that we need to scan. Um, and we can do that right now. We can take our scanner and just hold it over it and it'll actually scan it. Like you don't have to hold any buttons. It'll just automatically try to scan whatever items in our inventory. So there we go. Pretty easy there. Um, okay. So now we can head back and do a bit more research and maybe, uh, get some other things started. Ooh, wait, what's this? Ah, as you can see, we don't see it correctly because it's not like a full blown amount, but we do need to, to scan some of that taint. That's cotton seed. Some of the actual taint. We'll probably get some more whenever we're doing some more projects, but uh, yeah, there's definitely a bunch of more things to scan. Um, as you can see, sewage, like we haven't scanned um, a lot of this stuff. Mushrooms. There's tons to scan, especially in this biome, because this is like a, this is a biome that's made for this. So here's a mana bean. Oh, guess we can't scan it. But this biome is a mystical forest, like, it's Thomcraft mystical forest. So, there's some stuff that do, that does spawn here, such as this right here, which we will need. So we will need some silver wood. Sometimes there's a node inside the silver wood, but in this one there's not. Um... And then you really want these saplings. So if you get lucky, sometimes you can get a sapling. Don't know if I did or not. And there's also shimmer leaf, which you'll need. You'll need some of. So we'll put that away. Put all this stuff away. Bam. Oh, we did get a silverwood sapling. So perfect. Um, we can also use that to purify um, areas as well. So like if this is tainted over here, we can put a, put one of these trees there and it'll start to purify it, but it'll also start to make it this biome, which is uh, something else that's really useful for those plants. Oh, there's another tree over here that we actually need. Let's see if this one actually has a node in it. It might. If it does, I'll leave it alone. Ah, it does have a node in it, as you can see. So there is a node. Usually these are really good nodes. 
And as you see, that block right here has a node in it. Ah. I love how the tooltip gives you it gives you what it, uh, the aspects are before you scan it. So this is an okay, but it's a pure node. I'll take the shimmer. Take some of those. I should probably scan them. There we go. And we've got that done. So this is one of those biomes that you just want to kind of peek, poke around in and uh, see what you can find. And look at all the, I mean, in this biome, there's tons of silver wood. So, um, kind of crazy. And like that doesn't have a node in it. Uh, that one probably did, but it doesn't anymore. Um, these are just good sources of these uh, really nice nodes. Yeah, this one has one in it. Oh, it's got two in it. This one has two. That's interesting. Um, you do have to be careful because sometimes you can find um, hungry nodes. And those nodes are nodes that you don't really want to mess with. You can mess with them later, but you don't want to mess with them too much. Okay. So, what's this one got in it? Ooh, that's not that good of a node. That's a really good node right here. So that has, um, like, four primal aspects in it. Now, it doesn't have very many in the, uh, in the numbers, but uh, it does have all of them there. So pretty nice. All right, guys. So um, I went ahead and got a bit more done. I just done the research. I was following this guide right here. Um, it says fill up your wand by killing hostile mobs while in your hot bar. Awesome. So I've done that. Um, I just really just used my Enderman farm over there. I was just killing a few mobs. It didn't take very long to fill this completely up with all the aspects, which is really awesome. Um, so you don't have to really worry about nodes too much to fill this guy up. Um, but definitely with the Enderman, mo Enderman farm, it worked. I think the only thing it took a little while was the Igneous. Um, it took a little bit longer than everything else. Everything else filled up really fast except for Igneous. So um, I think killing some uh, uh, Blaze would probably fill Igneous up really fast. Um, I think some different types of mobs would probably work. I don't know. I don't know how that exactly works. But I know it filled it all the way up and you just have to have it in your hotbar and it's really good. Okay, so, uh, this is going to cost us 15. We're going to need the Goggles of Revealing. That's what we're making. So, as you see, the Goggles of Revealing, I've already done the research for it. This says it takes 5. It doesn't. It takes 15. Um, and then this, re re this recipe is actually wrong. Um, so, if we take a look at the actual Goggles of Revealing recipe, as you can see, now it requires 15 and then 10 of the Perdito. But all of this is, a different, is different as well. So, um, don't, don't follow this, because this is wrong. Um, follow the one, the actual item list right here. So, I do have enough for all this. Um, we just need to put our wand in here. That's going to give us 25 of each, every, of everything we need. Um, and then we're going to need to actually use this and set this in here. I think we can hold this right here, and it'll show us exactly where everything needs to go. I think... I think we can shift click items in if I do believe we need treated leather and we also need gold blocks two gold blocks and we should be able to put that in and get ourselves the thomcraft goggles of revealing right nope we have to put them put this in here like that and actually do it by hand. Which is understandable. And bam. It's, as you can see, it does use more than 15. Um, that's because we have a 110 um, vis cost. It's 110% instead of 100%. So it, it, it is costing us a little bit. But wearing this will do a 5% reduction on top of that 10%. So that will knock it down to 105% vis cost. So if we have a whole garment, a whole wardrobe of this stuff... Um, we should be able to get done with that. Okay. So now we have this. And I'll show you that how easy it is to recharge this. By the way, we can put our goggles on. It doesn't really change much, as you can see. It doesn't, doesn't change anything. Um, you will be able to see aspects that are in here now. So, um, say if I throw a torch, which isn't much. But you can see it hovers over it now. While we're looking at it, we can now see what aspect that is. So pretty nice. And then, of course, shift-clicking... And nothing. It was just not, not, not even worth its time. Um, by the way, I don't know if you can notice it, but my health bar has this like glowing stuff. 
And that's due to this thing, the rune, the ring of protection that I found in the runic dungeon. And this guy is really expensive. I didn't even look at the recipe. But if we look at how it's actually made. Yeah, this is not cheap stuff, by the way. This is further on down the line stuff. Like the primal charge. Like these, all this stuff. Like this, this cloth is really expensive. Look at this, it requires Gaia Spirits. And it requires these, which requires another section, which requires blocks of Dragonstone. Yeah, and another star. So yeah, this this is some pretty expensive stuff for the, just this ring. And uh, I don't even know exactly what this ring does. Because it's not research. But um, let's put our put this down here. As you can see, you can see what the levels are right now. Let's go ahead and kill some of them. And you should start to see stuff going up. So look, Wordo is already at 25 now. So if we turn this on. We can kill some Endermen and get some Ender Pearls as we always need. And we'll also be filling up our wand pretty fast as well. So yeah, this is a, a really uh, easy way of doing that. Doesn't look like they're wanting to spawn right now for some reason. There they go. Come get some. And yeah, this is just slowly building up. I mean, it, it works. Um, it's a lot better than going out and finding nodes, but um, that's definitely one of the things that we're going to need to do is find some nodes. Uh, and look. Look at that. As I said, everything is pretty much at 25 except for Igneous. Igneous takes a little bit to fill up. Oh, and we got ourselves another rare treasure. I got a rare treasure just a minute ago from this. And now it should be completely filled. Oh, it's almost filled. There's a few more kills to probably be filled. And it's at 20. So yeah, it, like I said, Igneous is for some reason taking a little bit longer. These guys die so quick. And we're filled. So yeah, they didn't take very long. And we're completely filled. I cannot believe these Endermen, man. Placing dirt all around my base. But yeah, that's all done. Um, I think we can scan the Goggles of Revealing. I didn't scan any of this stuff. Yeah, I don't think I scanned any of these things. So we can get all this stuff scanned up. We can scan our Nitor, scan our bags. Ooh, that was for greed. The dimlets don't scan. So yeah, just a lot of a lot of uh, work that's involved with Thomcraft. <laughs> just something you got to get used to doing. Um, but we should be able to now find nodes a little bit easier when flying around. Um, we need to find some nodes that are around our base. But like I said, the deep dark. I've said it in a previous episode. Um, the deep dark is really a really good place to find nodes because they're just so easy to spot. You just have to watch out for mobs in this pack because the Divine RPG mobs can be a bit to handle. Um, also at night it's a lot easier to find these guys. But usually just flying around like this, you might be able to spot them. You, Like I said, you just have to kind of keep an eye out and look around. Ah! So right here. Right here is a perfect example of that. We have a a nor aura node, and if we scan this, we'll be able to see what it is. And so it's got uh, herba, or it's got no, it's got two primal aspects. And uh, we should be able to suck those up if we had our wand here, but uh, we'll use this for later. This is Perdito and Terra. So really nice. That's actually a quite nice aspect, or quite nice node. And since it's nearby, near our base, um, it should automatically be recharging. So it recharges over time. So what we can do is we can set some waypoints. And we can make it, let's say, green. For Terra. And bam. Now we have a node, a marker for a node. So pretty simple. Just as simple as that. And uh, getting through Thomcraft should not be too hard. Um, as long as you're getting through all this research stuff. So, if you guys are enjoying this, 
I really appreciate you guys sticking around through all these episodes, and if you guys are enjoying it, please don't forget to click that subscribe button. If you haven't already, and also give this video a thumbs up, I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome, and as always, thanks for watching.